space. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to punch nine circles. You may use between seven to nine to make your flower, but we need to punch nine circles. And again, it depends on the size in which you fold your circles to make the little petals. And so first punch your nine circles. Once you get your nine circles punched, you're going to put adhesive all over one of them with either your favorite adhesive or you can run it through your Create a Sticker. Once you have done that, you're gonna go ahead, set that circle aside. I like to work on a grid type environment, um, type of mat so that I can get uh, a better um, placement of my petals. However, this time I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different. So, once you have your nine circles, your one circle here, so you have eight petals or eight circles left that we're going to turn into petals. You're going to want to decide what side you want to fold in for your look. Now, it's really important that when you do this, if you're using pattern paper, it's a double-sided pattern paper. You don't want to use pattern paper that has one side white because your flower is going to be kind of weird looking. You're either going to have the inside of the flower is going to be, I'll show you, like this part will either be white, white, or this part will either be white. So it's really better if you have two different colors. You can also do this with cardstock, a colored cardstock. That'd be cute too. Doesn't really matter on color with that. However, the good thing with the Planner Society paper is they always have double-sided, so we don't have to worry about that. First thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your paper into thirds like this each petal, I should say, each circle. And you can use a bone file to really get the crease down. Um, however, I prefer just to use my fingers because the bone file is kind of big for this. Okay, once you get it folded and you just did two folds and you want it to be really pointed at the bottom, okay? You're gonna take your adhesive now this isn't a step you have to do, I just find it beneficial. And you're just going to run the adhesive down one side of your petal, and then you're gonna go ahead and just attach it, like so. So we're left with this little guy. Now what you're gonna do is, and this is up to you, I like to do this, we're gonna take this petal, since I did not ink the circle to begin with, because I didn't distress it, and I'm going to ink the edges. And look at that, I did it totally backwards, so I have to do this again. All right, whoops. Okay, so going back, no big deal. Just gonna fold it on that line. Fold it right like so, because I want my inside of my flower to be the blue and the outside to be the orange. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ink the edges. And so I'm just gonna go ahead with my regular ink pad. It doesn't really matter. I'm noticing that this ink pad is a water-based ink pad, so it's a little bit messy, so I have to be kind of careful. Um, so you might wanna use a different type, but for this, it, it's fine. And then I will just slip it into placement. And I'm, I'm doing this placement a little bit different. There's a couple ways you can do the placement and I've done it both ways. The first way is you can go ahead and adhere your petals directly to this um, sticky circle. However, I'm doing it upside down right now and then I'm going to flip the circle over on it from there. And this isn't always gonna be perfect Okay, so I'm putting together the flower upside down. And it's not always gonna line up perfectly, and that's okay because you know what? Nowhere in nature is a flower absolutely perfect all the time. There's always something different and unique about a flower, right? So, and honestly, I really didn't wanna make a full circle for, for my next card that I'm doing, but just to show you how to do it, I am. So I'm gonna take this up now, and I also put a little dot of adhesive on the back to hold, hold it down. If you decide to put your petals to, down onto this circle, make sure you adhere it with a temporary um, 
adhesive to hold it down while you put it on. Now, since this is totally sticky because I ran it through my sticker thing, I'm just going to place it on top of my upside down flower like so. I'm gonna press all around and then boom, I'm gonna turn it over. And now I have a cute little coordinating flower that I can make with my leftovers for another card. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this card and it's, I'm gonna give you some ideas. So we're gonna put the card together. It's gonna to be different than this card, which is really cute. I used my leftover little pieces that I had, um, you know, the little die cut pieces she had and I just inked the edges of that and did it as the center of that card. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this card and I'm actually gonna open it up because I prefer to work on it on a flat surface. And I took this card is um, a four by five and a half. So I cut down my my um, pattern paper to five and two uh, five and one fourth inch and three and seven three point seven five inches. I always want there to be a little bit of a border on my card. I think it just looks cleaner and it looks nicer. And I found this craft card um, pack at Hobby Lobby this week for 50% off. So I got like 50 cards for like three or $4. So always check out their, um, their uh, sales for that. And it was by Paper Studio, but anyway, so, I was just gonna put this down and then I'm like, hmm, I kinda wanna back that, but I didn't have enough paper left, so what I did was I went to the Planner Society little bags and I took this little bag, I cut it down to size, and then I just went ahead and ran my adhesive gun down the edge of one of it. So now I have a nice little pocket and I'm gonna place the pocket up here where it opens on the top of the card, and that way I can slip in a gift card or a cute little tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this first. And I do use a lot of adhesive. Some people really cringe when they see me do this because I know you only need a little bit, but that's not how I work. I use a lot, sorry, I always buy it on sale though. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing this off center because I want my flower to take up the majority of the room down here. So I'm just gonna place this like so. And now I haven't decided yet if I want the flower to be over the corner of this cute little die cut or if I kind of want it peeking out. I think I kind of like it peeking out. So what I did was I had some pop dots so I can make this pop otherwise trying to take this and putting it here with without the pop dots, it would look kind of funky. So I need to put my flower down first, and I'll show you what I did with my pop dots. So I'm just gonna run some adhesive on my cute little flower. I don't know, maybe I do wanna put that more. You know what, I think I do, I think I do want it off showing because I have an idea of what I can do with my leftover puffy stickers. Okay, so I changed my mind, which is totally okay. I'm gonna go ahead and, and pop this leftover um, card down from our kit, okay? But what I did to make it pop was I was out of my pop dots. I was just left with this, which is the, um, just the, the, most people throw this away, or I used to throw this away until I discovered that you can use this. All you do is you just cut out the pieces you want and it's the same stuff that were in your pop dots. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna adhere this like so. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop my, my cute little flower on here and for this, I am gonna shut the card just because I don't, I want it to fit into the envelope, so I need to make sure that I don't get it too far over on the edge. It is kind of cool to get it over on, um, over the green edge, but we don't want it over the card edge or else I won't be able to fit it into the envelope, which would be bad. Okay, so now I have this. 
it's kind of normal for these little petals to want to pop up a little until you get them adhered and that's why you have to have a center so far i have that cute right now i'm going to take one of my puffy stickers and i was thinking that i can do um I wanted to do the acorn, but it said plan in it, so that's not really gonna work. I could use the today little mug or the fox head. I think I'm gonna use the little fox head. But before I do that, I want to take just some liquid adhesive because I'm concerned that these are gonna really pop up here. And I'm just gonna dab some of this in here I don't want to lose my petals in the mail when I mail this out. That would not be fun. So I'm going to kind of fix this a little bit. Okay. Just want to make sure it's nice and I'm going to lift this up, kind of replace it down after I get some goop on it. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my little fox, and I think he's really cute. I like him a lot. And this is kind of a mess, so I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Just gonna. The center kind of always does look kind of funky after I make my little flowers. That's why I also like to have a center in the flower and not just leave it because otherwise um, it looks sloppy. And I am a messy, messy crafter. And I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to pop him down in the middle. And I'm just going to hold him there. All right, so now we're left with this cute little card that we made with leftovers from our kit. So we got a lot of good use out of it. And something you can do with the washi tape to make this just really special is you can run on the inside. You can run down your washi tape. And what's fun to do sometimes is take the larger tape, run it first, and then put the thinner tape um, in the center of that. It looks really nice. And then just a little sticker in the corner. And I did the same with this. Um, that's the inside of this card and I have to write uh, a little you know note in there and then something I did with the coordinating envelope was I took a wash the washi tape from the kit and I went ahead and just ran both of them on the bottom attached it on the back and then I just put a cute little sticker over in this corner and that just really ties it in and it just makes it super special so that when the person who opens up the card it's all totally coordinated. I decided on craft for this because it's a nice uh, fall color um, and it just it's a nice neutral so anyway these are some cute little ideas that you can do with any kind of um, leftover pattern paper you have or using up your kit this is a really great way to do it um, to use stickers your washi and also that pattern paper all you need again is some circle punches and um, you're good to go so until next time happy crafting